guys, this is Miss Bryson. This video is about evolution and hopefully in this video I can help you understand what evolution is and what it is not um, and maybe help you understand how evolution works and why it's important to us. Okay, first thing I want you to do in your notebooks or in your binder is I want you to write down five ideas you have about evolution maybe things you believe or things you've heard other people say about evolution and then at the end of the video maybe we can talk about them or in class maybe you can ask your teacher some of those questions. Okay, let's start off by defining evolution. Evolution is a change in a population over long periods of time. That's what evolution is and on your screen you're seeing a few examples of what evolution is not. Evolution is not intentional it's not a choice. Organisms cannot choose to evolve. They either have the traits contained in their DNA or they don't. This leads us to our next misconception that an individual can change its traits in its lifetime. Individuals don't evolve. You can't just say one day, oh, I think I want wings, so let me just change my DNA to have those wings. That'd be great, but it just doesn't happen. Uh, we do develop, organisms develop over their lifespan, but we cannot completely change our DNA, DNA sorry, and get completely new traits. It just doesn't work that way. Um, when you think about evolution, you really should not think about individuals. You should think about populations because a population as a whole can evolve over many, many diff uh, different generations. So it's definitely not a quick process. There's also a lot of controversy over evolution because many people think that evolution tries to explain the origin of life, how Earth was created and whatnot, uh, but evolution actually does not say anything about that. It only explains what happens to living organisms once they're here on Earth, uh, what happens to them over time. Uh, there's a variety of evidence that proves evolution. Uh, even the fact that we have over a billion different species on Earth, that's a pretty good indicator that organisms can evolve new characteristics over time. Because if they didn't, we wouldn't have near as many organisms. So now we're going to talk about how evolution occurs, and to do this we're going to go on to a little simple example. Okay, so here we have a nice little diverse population of blobs. Lots of variations, different colors, different sizes, different shapes, and their food is the little purple objects on the ground. So there's a particularly hot year and food becomes less abundant, therefore there's a lot of competition. And when there's a lot of competition, some of the blobs are going to lose. It's just the way life works. But blobs that had the ability to dig into the soil to get under the ground had a better chance of finding food. The ones who didn't have that ability died. Now remember, keep in mind that these blobs are either born with the ability or they're not. They cannot choose to evolve. And the blobs who survived found love, mated, reproduced and passed those traits on to the next generation. Reproduction is a majorly important step in the process of evolution because without reproduction you can't pass on those traits to change a population. And of course we have baby blobs and the baby blobs most of this generation is going to have the pointed noses uh, because that's the best trait in this environment. Um, and that's the way evolution works. It works by a process called natural selection. And in natural selection, there's four major points. Um, the first point is that every population has a lot of variation. And that's good. You want variation in a population because if you are all the same and something happens in your population, then you're all wiped out. But if there's lots of variations, you have a better chance of someone surviving. So after number one, variation, number two, competition. That means that anytime you have a population, there's going to be competition for resources. And the organisms with the best traits for that environment are going to survive. And since they're surviving, then they'll reproduce and pass those traits on to their offspring or their children. And those traits show up way more often now because 
that's the best trait for the environment. Here we have a population of organisms, a very diverse population. They all have different traits, they taste different, they have different colors, different shapes, and some traits may be more valuable in their environment than other traits. Let's say, for instance, we have two new ferocious predators enter the area. Why are you only eating the green ones? And now the two predators get scared away. Run away, run away. No, seriously, run away. Okay, obviously our predators really enjoy the green organisms. They must taste awesome. But if you look at our resulting population, there are not very many green organisms left. Therefore, they would not be able to reproduce and pass on their genes. Eventually, the green ones would die out of the gene pool, and they would not be very suited for this environment. However, the other organisms, the purple, the orange, the red, and the yellow, because they had traits that allowed them to survive in their environment, they are able to survive and to reproduce. Okay guys, time to wrap things up. I want you to go back into your notebook, back to those five things that you wrote down at the beginning of the video, and write down if your ideas about evolution have changed or not. If they haven't, that's fine. Um, just write down a few facts from the video if you can so you can show your teacher whenever you come into class. We're going to be learning a lot about evolution in the next couple of weeks. It can kind of be a confusing topic, so make sure you pay attention to your teacher because it's going to get a little difficult. But if you need any help, I'm in room 1255. I hope you have a good week, guys. Bye. Hi, Delilah. Can you say goodbye? Hmm? Can you say goodbye? Yeah. Bye-bye. Do you want to lick the phone? Ooh.